what's going on everybody out here today with the legend with the lg24 on this little county owned lot community garden type of thing right off of a highway never tried it out before so hopefully we find something good i'll let you all know when i find my first target all right first tone here is 42 but it likes to jump a little bit probably just a zinc penny but it's first signal so we'll dig it up Ooh, as I live and breathe, we do have a penny. 2001. All right, this one under this really big walnut tree, I think it is. Anyways, it, very solid 46 copper penny, zinc dime. Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, there we go. I see it. Shiny, shiny, shiny dime. Clad Roosevelt, but hey, it's in good shape. This one might be kind of a mixed signal. Maybe a few things. Right there is the good one and it's kind of deep. Okay, so. Right there, it pinpoints to 51. Something good we can hope. I'm confused. Oh, wait, I see something. Oh, just a quarter. That's okay. I'll take a quarter any day. I was really hoping for some silver, but that's all right. Keep moving on. 46, 47 jumps around a little bit. Not too bad, though. Pretty solid. Pinpoints right exactly there. And it's deeper than what my pin. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. Dig a plug. Well, not even a plug. Keep some dirt out. See what we get. Well, we got a coin. Hey, we got a weedy. That's exciting. I haven't found a weedy in a while. 1953. That's pretty good since I was only about two inches deep. That's a really good shape too. San Francisco mint. Oh, I think we're onto something. Let's keep it up. Find some more old stuff. There's got to be some silver in here. Sweet, we'll take it. Okay, we got a screamer here. Then it goes quieter when I turn on it. Oh, I say we just clear out whatever the heck's in the hole here. Or in the ground. See if we can't find it. Oh, well, right here on the surface is, uh, some copper, brass, whatever. Probably why it was ringing up high. Probably nothing else here, to be honest with you. But let's run the machine over it again just to check. Yeah, that was it. Bummer, dude. All over the place. Well, dig her up. Sounds way too weird. I'll take a quarter any day of the week, but sneaking suspicion that there may be something else down here. There is something there. Let's see what the machine has to say about it. No? I think it's just being masked by a little bit of iron because it's quiet now. Well, I hear some ferrous tones, but that's about it. So we'll take that quarter. Another one, pretty similar to the last. More of a copper zinc dime tone, but. Oop, we got it down, got it down, got it down. This one looks a little older. Oh, that's so weird. It's like smush. Maybe it got ran over by a lawnmower or something. It's not that old. 1990-something. So, in a way, nothing good. But, man, that here does almost look silver. If I didn't know any better, I would have got pretty excited pulling that one out of the ground. But, either way, we'll take it. Uh, pretty good sounding quarter tone. Actually, it's pinpointing. It's not that deep. I'm just flick it out of the ground. Oh, dang it. That sure did look silver to me. But 1989, I think that says. Boo. I need to see the read there. You can see this cloud. Sure looks silver from that angle, though. Oh, well. Maybe will take it. I don't know if this is zinc penny, copper penny, mixed targets. I'm not sure. Clad dime. 
weird soundings all I know. I don't even know, man. I'm confused here. Is that out of the ground? Is it in the ground? Now, there's something in there, but there's also something right in here. Where'd that 45 go? Oh, another zinc penny? I just knocked it down. So weird. I see one there. I think I just found the zinc penny spill, and that was it. One there. Tell you, those pennies add up. After a hundred of them, you get almost a dollar. All right, I'm done with this little hole. Well, trying a different route today. Gonna go cruise out this little walking trail a little bit on my e-bike and maybe find some places I've never found before. Oh, good. My back tire feels kind of funky. Yeah, that's good. Probably should have put more air in it, but whatever. Huh? Check it out. I haven't gone that far down the show because I'm too lazy to walk. So, finally got a rack to carry the bike on my car. So here we are. I don't think I've ever been beyond right where I'm at right this moment. And this sure takes a lot longer on foot. I'll tell you that much. Tripping through here on an e-bike's fun though. Ow. I feel like there's some private property around here. You can't get through here anymore. Oh, that's something different. I did not know that. Thought this was all wide open still. Well, I guess plans have dramatically changed. There used to be a trail that went all the way through here. Oh. I'm gonna go try something else then. Explore one of these other areas around here. We'll find somewhere to metal detect. It's just a matter of where. That I don't know. Either way, this is fun. There's some roads up here. I have no idea where they go. Let's say we explore them. What the hell? Why not? Because it's something I would never do if I wasn't on this bike. One thing about it, the bike doesn't do hills great. We pedal, it's all right, I guess. Just a little bit of assist, what a difference. Don't know where this goes, but I have a feeling we're gonna find something to do a little pretty beat up little neighborhood. Yeah. I don't know. I thought like we're kinda just end enough for it. Alright, well, not going here. We can go up there it looks like. Definitely not going up that trail. Wet leaves and everything. Heck, dig the dog no. It's just tripping me out. When I go over here, it takes me to a little picnic area, but I don't know what's beyond that picnic area. Never explored it. It might be a little too steep for this e-bike. I don't know. I don't know anything. Ask me anything and I'll answer it the same way. I don't know. Oh, yeah, picnic area. Didn't know this existed. Bunch of wide open spots over here to hunt this area. Let's just see what goes beyond it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go crazy out here. So, 
I think we found what we we're gonna metal detect. Private property here. Is there anything back here? Almost looks like bike jumps there. Dig me into another trail that goes nowhere, so. I think we've explored all we can really explore here. Yeah, we'll go park at that picnic table and go around there. Find some clad, something, who knows. It's a big enough area to explore. Either way, it's fun coming up here. Well, this is literally the first target I got that non-ferrous at 35. Probably a pull tab. Ooh, hit something hard there. Back it up, not deep. Do a little shallower hole. Still in there, I see it. I see it, and I dropped my phone. All right, this is what we got. Not a clue what it is, but it looks old, so you know, we'll take that. What I'm noticing right here is this is a huge olive tree. It didn't get here by accident, so we might be in a decent area, actually. Uh, getting some signals down here. I'll poke around them a little bit. Where we go, we had one. Right there, kind of all over the place. Maybe something good, heck. I can only hope, right? I think we got more than one target in this hole. I don't feel like we do find anything around this tree. It's gonna be old. Okay, whatever we have, I see a penny. Or, I think it's a penny. It's gotta be, it can't be a weedy, it's too jacked up. A memorial back penny. That's nothing special. Guess my theory of finding old stuff up here was uh, not quite par on. And we got a bottle cap that's not old, that says Budweiser. Bummer. Okay, that's it. Nothing else worth digging here. Dang it. Another 29 to 34. It leads me to believe it's right here. Anybody coming up this hill, they're going to think they're just some crazy guy if you're talking to himself. Oh, but look at that. See, another sign of really old stuff. That's a square cut nail. We're going to have to, I mean, that's really square cut. That's old. We need to stay in this area for a while. It's kind of big. Depending on where you go on it, it changes the tone. Well, pinpointer says right there. No, we're this far. Let's do some exploring, I reckon. Oh, I hear something rusty. I have got it. Oh, it's more freaking copper, it looks like. Any writing on it? Anything fancy? Oh, this one's hard to bend. I don't see anything on it, but it's more copper. It's interesting. It's got to be old. Hopefully we find something good in this area. Okay, well, I'm digging all the junky tones because, honestly, it's about all I'm getting. Hopefully, after all the junky tones, we'll get one good thing. All right, it's out of the hope. We stay pretty consistent in the 30s. Ah, shell casing. I don't know anything about this stuff, so I can't even tell you if it was old. Either way, we'll take it. This one's going to probably be a bottle cap or a zinc penny. 
I mean, this might be an old area, but it's also a hiking trail, so. I see it. Oh, that felt super duper light. Yep. 2005. Kind of a cool looking little color on him. My first signal in a while. Jumpy all over the place. Pretty much like anywhere I'm up here. I really wish I would have brought a bigger coil with me. It's in the back of my car. I just didn't think of throwing it in my backpack. Oh well. Oh, I think this shovel's about had all it can have time to build a, a stronger one. All right, down here somewhere we have something. It's a coin or something small, I can tell you that, because I don't see anything big. All right, let's see here. Is that it? No way. That's it. What is that? Yeah, it looks like a shell casing, actually a shotgun shell head stamp. That's what I believe it to be. Don't know for sure though. Something that goes to a gun, I'm assuming. Well, that's pretty cool. Very questionable, and I tell you, it doesn't sound great either. Oh, I see it, another uh, shell casing. That's a big one. Was this like a 410 shell or something? I really don't know. As I said, I don't know anything about guns. Oh, it was gone. This one's like certainly iron. Then I get back here, move the machine a little bit quicker. And it sounds better. Let's just try to pinpoint it regardless of what it is. So there's something there. And something right about there. Start with this one for that white rock is, see if we can get that out of the ground. Another head stamp. Must have been a lot of hunting going on up here or shooting. But I mean, that looks old. That doesn't look modern to me. Let's continue to look in this little spot. Yeah, that's it. That was weird. It was kind of coming up as multiple signals, but we was wrong. Or I was wrong. All over the place. But I just want to dig it. Because, eh, because I can, I suppose. Maybe I can, I don't know. Car crud, crap. I just found a really cool old button. This. <laughs> this is worth the whole damn hunt. I don't know what it is right now, but I'm sure going to clean that up when I get home. That is awesome. That has got some age to it. I am so glad I dug that one. It definitely says something on it. I'll clean it up and I'll be sure to let you guys know, but that is awesome. Right on. That makes me happy. Well, that's a wrap for today, guys. I went to a few different locations. Didn't really kill it today, but, you know, it was the only decent weather day we had that I'll be able to go out as it shows in the forecast. Like, the next two weeks, nothing but rain. But this is what we have here. We got that button that I can make out the ward's corpse on it, but nothing else. I don't know what the other one is. When I get it home, I mean, it looks like it might be too... I mean, it looks like baseball bats, but I'm thinking they're like telescopes or something crossed. Not sure. And then you got the wheat penny. That was a 1953, I believe. Well, five quarters, three dimes, and I don't know, a bunch of clad. But 
Yep. And here's all the garbage we found. Oh, not all the garbage. I got more in there, but I didn't empty it out from the last trip. And I'm sure there's some of what we found today in there still. But it's just what really got me going is finding all this old stuff here in this spot. Oh, I even see this is threaded like a bicycle tire now. That's weird. It's definitely went to something. Very interesting. A lot of the stuff looks pretty old that I'm finding here. But well, we didn't find anything too terribly old unless that button's nice and old. I'm going to have to come back here with a bigger coil on the legend and see if we do any better. But if you guys like this kind of stuff, please, please, please do consider subscribing and leaving my video a like. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all take care.